I'm Jennifer Coffey. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions here at the University of Louisville School of Medicine. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, preparing uh, to apply to medical school and some of the things that you need to think about uh, when you're going through that process of planning your undergraduate uh, career. Um, first of all, you would want to think about your academic preparation. Uh, secondly, you would want to think about um, the, some of the things that you'll be doing outside of the classroom. Uh, to show the committee that you truly have a heart for medicine and that you care for others. Uh, and then finally, um, some of your personal attributes and things that um, will make you help to diversify the class as well as contribute to making the School of Medicine uh, an even better place. Uh, so first of all, the academic uh, preparation consists of uh, completing a bachelor's degree. You are more than welcome to major in anything that you like. Um, many students major in other majors besides biology and chemistry and you can see that in our class profile that we have a number of majors uh, besides the traditional majors and we encourage you to major in something that interests you because most likely you will do well uh, in that major um, and one reason that we want you to do well is because uh, medical school or applying to medical school is a competitive process. Um, the average cumulative GPA for our entering class uh, is anywhere from a 3.6 to a 3.7 average as well as in the sciences it's a 3.5 to a 3.6 average. So again it's a very competitive um, process getting into medical school but it is definitely an achievable goal. Besides completing your bachelor's degree uh, you'll also need to complete the pre-med requirements and for the University of Louisville, Louisville, those consist of two semesters of general biology, two semesters of general chemistry, two semesters of organic chemistry, two semesters of physics, and those all will include labs with them. And then also two semesters of English and either a semester of calculus or two semesters of college math. And that will complete our pre-med curriculum uh, as far as the required courses. Now we do highly recommend uh, a few other courses because of the nature of the 2015 MCAT and what is on that MCAT. Now uh, we highly recommend that you have at least a semester of biochemistry as well as a semester of psychology and sociology in order to be prepared uh, for those topic areas within the MCAT. And then along with that, uh, we also highly encourage you to um, complete uh, courses in uh, upper level sciences such as uh, histology, physiology, and um, genetics. Uh, the reason that we recommend those types of courses is so that you not only uh, get into medical school but that you're successful in completing medical school because you have that additional background uh, in order to be successful in those um, science areas. Applying to medical school will also require you to take the MCAT. The MCAT consists of four sections, uh, testing your knowledge in areas of biochemistry, biology, organic chemistry, physics, behavioral sciences, as well as critical analysis and reasoning skills. When you're getting ready to prepare for the MCAT, keep in mind that you need a sufficient amount of time to prepare. Usually around six weeks um, is a good amount of time to be fully prepared in order to be successful on the MCAT. Your MCAT score is good for up to two years, um, however keep in mind that we will only use your most recent score uh, when we are, are evaluating your application. Also keep in mind that our average uh, MCAT score for the 2015 MCAT was a total score of 507 this past year. And also keep in mind that you want to shoot for no less than a 124 in each section of the MCAT. Uh, if any score is below that area, it raises a red flag um, questioning whether uh, you're capable of being successful handling the medical school curriculum. Besides being evaluated academically, you also need to show the committee that you have a heart for others and that you have explored the field of medicine. So I encourage you to invest your time wisely outside of the classroom. Think of opportunities uh, where you can serve others. Um, some ways that students have shown their heart for others in the past or um, have devoted their time outside of the classroom is by uh, doing uh, volunteer work, whether it's medically or non-medically related, um, participating in uh, 
medical research or non-medical research. Um, also taking on leadership roles, whether it's in a um, campus organization or community organization. Um, and also students have taken the opportunity to travel abroad or study abroad and expose themselves to diverse populations because when we uh, go through medical school or when you're working in the medical field, you're working with diverse populations and so you want to go ahead and expose yourself to diverse populations and build um, that ability to be able to communicate with others um, whether they're just like you or not. And then finally, exploring medicine is a key component to being prepared for medical school. We want to know that you truly know what the life of a physician is like, and so we would encourage you to take advantage of opportunities to shadow physicians, volunteer in a medical setting, work as a scribe. Any of those things are good substantive experiences uh, that you'll need to take advantage of in order for you to let the committee know that this, you truly have a heart for others and that you want to serve others in a, a medical capacity. Uh, when you apply to medical school, you are required to submit letters of recommendation. We require, first and foremost, is a pre-med committee report. If your school does not have a pre-med committee report, we will require uh, three academic letters, uh, two from science professors and one from a non-science professor. I encourage you to get to know your professors early on so that they can uh, tell us about who you are as a student and a person in your class. Um, they want, we want them to be able to tell us um, some of the attributes that we're looking for in future positions, like were you a leader in the class, were you persistent in the class, uh, did you overcome any obstacles. Those are all things that we are looking for in future positions, as well as being able to co collaborate with your uh, fellow classmates. The last aspect of the admissions process that I'm going to talk to you about today is keeping in mind the application deadlines. Typically, students will apply at the end of their junior year for application to medical school. If you plan to take a gap year, uh, you can apply any time after that. Uh, some of the deadlines to keep in mind are the primary application deadline, which is the AMCAS application. Ours is October 15th. You want to make sure that you investigate all of your medical schools that you plan to apply to and what their deadlines are so that you meet them and so that uh, timing does not become an issue in whether you get into medical school or not. Also we will have a secondary application deadline which is December 31st and again both of these deadlines uh, are not meant for you to submit your application right at the deadline. They're meant for you to know in advance what it is and make sure that you submit your application as early as possible in the process so that your application can be evaluated thoroughly. Our recommendation is that you submit your application uh, when the applications open in June um, so that you can have your application in early and make sure that nothing is forgotten in the process. I hope you found this information helpful and I wish you the best of luck in your medical school application process.